Mr. Speaker, we are at the beginning of a new era. We are fiscally responsible. Market tailspin caused by the budget. The pound has hit the lowest level ever. Now, we've also heard overnight uh, from the uh, International Monetary Fund. The IMF have said this could impact the global economy if things remain unstable, uncertain in the UK. To have your knuckles wrapped like that as the UK, one of the world's biggest economies, is worrying and also, frankly, pretty embarrassing. I have never seen anything like this. I've been an economist for 50 years. I went through the Great Recession. I have never seen such raging incompetence ever. Well, we're following sensible conservative economic policies. We've moved well beyond talking about a growth plan or the macro economy. We're now talking about credibility. And once you lose credibility, it is very difficult to get it back again. And for what? The new chancellor's just crashed the economy and put the country on a path of kamikaze self-destruction just so he can deliver uncapped bonuses for millionaire bankers and borrow hundreds of billions of pounds to fund tax cuts for the rich. All whilst two million adults in this country can't afford to eat every day. Millions live in poverty and people can't afford to heat their homes. The world now thinks we're some kind of a banana republic with an economy run by a madman. If this was a Labour Chancellor, every national newspaper in the country would be calling for his immediate resignation. Crashing the economy to hand billions of pounds to the rich, whilst they threaten the poor and most vulnerable in our society with a cut to their benefits. And the Prime Minister insists public sector workers, already struggling to pay their bills after a decade of real terms pay cuts, should again settle for another crappy real terms pay cut. 